back here in the back going through some of these boxes. I mean, we have gone through a ton of boxes, but there's still a ton more. You see all these? And then we got some of them over here. We're in the middle of going through. We have found all kinds of cool stuff and lots of trash mixed in too. You know, there's a lot of paperwork and everything like that, but there is definitely um, a lot of good items we have found. I'll show you some of the stuff here in a minute as far as that we've already put out in the auction for this week. We put a lot of stuff out last week. Um, we got a lot of stuff we're putting out this week and still going through stuff. So we'll probably be putting stuff out next week also because there's just so many boxes to go through out of this unit. But vintage stuff, like you see there, Cabbage Patch Kids. I already showed some of that when we were going through the unit. Gold, silver, all kinds of stuff. But I'm going to dig through some boxes right now and we'll see what we find. All right, let's check out some boxes here. Oh, I did find video game here. I got a little Game Boy Metroid 2. This thing's worth about $30, $40. And then I found some Game Boy or some um, Nintendo DS boxes or um, cases, but no games in them. All right, we got a box cutter here because, like I've been told, if you don't have a box cutter, you're not a professional. But I'm not going to use it. I'm just going to tear it open because that's how I like to roll. Just to make everyone mad that watches the videos that goes on and on about me having a knife. I mean, why I can't just rip these open? I don't know. But, got a knife, but I'm not going to use it. And that, as you can see, did not take me any more time than it would have with a knife. We got trash. Trash, trash, trash. This is a, um, oh, this is like scrapbooking pages. It says on here, man, you can't hardly go by this stuff. The living room, lamps, quilts. And what is this? Not really a quilt. This is just like a regular old comforter. What is going to be down in here? Another comforter. We have found several nice quilts. Older quilts. But lots of just... Lots of nothing mixed in. What is this down here, huh? Look what we got here. This is cool. Okay, I think it's just gonna be for pictures. Yep. Fancy little photo holder there. I thought it might be something else, but we got some cokes. I don't know what's special about these. They are Harrelson County Historical Society. Which that's a county here in Georgia, a couple counties away from us. Something heavy in this box or bag right here. Okay, here's the lamp that it just described on the box was in here. Okay, this is kind of a cool looking lamp. It is an Asian. Style lamp here. All right, we've had a ton of scrapbooks found in this unit. And look at this, this is kind of weird on this page in the scrapbook. We got a couple of cigarettes here, and there's a nail. Okay, I don't think that, well, no, I think the nail may have been part of the scrap. I don't know. I know the cigarettes are. I don't know if that was like their first smoke or what, but. It's got a name and a date on each one. Everything that says homecoming decorate, homecoming decorating. Don't even look. It has an O. I don't know. And then we got a, we got a napkin here with a something spilled on it. But that's what scrapbooks are all about. Is just stuff that's important to mean stuff to whoever whoever makes it. <laughs> Whether it means something to anybody else or not. But there's actually, I think there's more in this box over here I'm going through. More scrapbooks. Yep, scrapbook. Looks like scrapbook, scrapbook maybe. But just tons of them. You have some pretty interesting things. There's really not hard, 
really anything in this one. There's just some stuff right here in the front cover. There's a big one here. This, looks, this one looks pretty old. A lot of really cool black and white pictures in some of these. These just have newspaper. Maybe these aren't black and white pictures, but up John. Is that some of them? Villarica Pharmacy. There's Marine Land. Okay, that's um St. Augustine right there. This is all St. Augustine. Alright. Power Wheels charger. That could come in handy. You get so many power wheels without the chargers, but then I find chargers kind of just mixed in with stuff pretty often. Lots of, I don't know what, books and different stuff. There's a 1961 yearbook for somewhere. All right, all kinds of games that were in this box here. Scrabble, Yahtzee, sorry. Disney seen it, brand new. Cranium, Yahtzee. Um, what else we got? Oh, you might be a redneck if game. So some of these are good for the auction. Some of them, not so much, but... Like this one right here is brand new, still in the plastic. Look at Ann. Ann's over here digging through some paperwork. I told her that I had a hundred dollar bill in here. And sure enough, she just handed me this envelope and look what's in here. I was kidding around with her, but there's a hundred dollar bill. I thought it was like a fake one when I saw it through this window, one of those little sales things like from a bank. But it's the real deal. It was in their um, delinquent tax notice. $280 do now. I've been finding a few of these Game Boy games just kind of scattered loose in this unit. Tetris, and then this is um Operation C. Looks like some that looks like the Contra logo, so some kind of Contra game. Um so no Game Boy or anything like that, but just some loose games. This box right here, let's see. Fragile dishes from corner cabinet. Like I keep saying that doesn't mean that's what it is, but sometimes if it's, it'll say something like that, like that, dishes from corner cabinet, and there'll be one dish and everything else will be different. So let's see what we got here. Lots of packing. Here is a <laughs> look plastic vase there. What's this say? Cleaned to the best of my ability. Interesting. So I'm assuming it's going to be dirty. Or the best of their ability was good. It's just a little vase with some flowers in it. Made by the Cash. Made by the Cush family. Okay. Yeah, it does look like maybe just some dishes. All right, we got a little dish with some toothpicks. And it's a princess house, cottage lily. And we're just gonna, we're gonna show, it, show what we find. I know some, most people, this might be boring, but there's definitely some people that they say they wanna see the dishes and that kind of stuff. This thing's wrapped, 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 and then, are you serious? That's crazy, look. A little plastic spoon wrapped up there I think it's just mainly like glasses and stuff it looks like going to be done in here and this is more of that princess house so maybe just several pieces of the princess house we'll open one more here I think this is broken it's definitely broke I can feel it it's the same I don't even keep going it's in a million pieces it looked like it was the same same thing maybe See what this is. Yep, so it looks like we're gonna have several pieces of this princess house set. 
I'll keep digging and if I find anything interesting here, I will show it this box. It looks like there's more dishes. Big 10 by 35 foot unit. It just keeps going and going and going. We've been going through this thing for, I think like a couple weeks now. We've actually bought other units and gone through those just to give us a break from that one. But um, I'm gonna kind of show you just a few things. I mean, there's been so much stuff that it's not going to be shown because there was the volume. It was just crazy. We sold a ton of stuff in the auction last week from this unit that um, I didn't show. But um, like, for instance, all this stuff <clears throat> in this case for the auction, everything I'm showing out here is stuff we're getting ready for the auction this week. But like all this is all sterling silver rings, sterling silver charm bracelet. We just kind of made a lot there of just kind of odd you know, little collectible weird stuff, but all this stuff, all this jewelry, little lots of jewelry, buttons, necklaces, war ration book, all this stuff. The fur right here. A couple of these clothing items were, I think these were out of a different unit, but tons of books. Anything and everything. Cajun, Night Before Christmas, The Story of the Royal Family, all this stuff down through here. Like I said, lots of different books. Some of the stuff I might have already shown. Lunchbox. A couple. One of these is a fur. This one is a real fur. We think a mink. Um, this one's a fake fur right here. But the Coke trays. We've had several of those. There was an old Coke light. It's pretty worn out, but somebody might buy it, you know, and work on it. Serving set. Old newspapers. Um, let me show another section that has. Let's see. Lots of old pictures, black and whites. Okay, let me move over here because some of this was at, like I said, a different unit that we kind of started putting stuff out from. But if we come over here, like, like I said, tons of books. I Love Lucy, penny sets, quite a bit of gold. I you know, found quite a bit of gold in the unit. It's just kind of all scattered out. Not a lot of big pieces, but you know, it adds up. If we come down through here, like vintage McDonald's toys. Little log cabin bank, Prince's house stuff. But then we kind of get into down there all the video games and stuff. That's from a different unit. But little figurines and stuff. Just a very wide variety of stuff that has come out of that unit. But I'm still back there. I'm about to walk back there now and I'll show you um, how many boxes we have left. There's still quite a bit to go through. But we've been selling stuff in the auction for about let's see i think this will be the third week that we've been putting stuff in the auction last week almost the whole auction was just stuff out of this unit let's go back to the back here and it's kind of a, it is a mess back here because this thing has had so many boxes and it's been kind of messy they're not 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 easy to go through so we still have like this block of boxes right here all those boxes across there out of this unit and then this block right here and as you see we're back here going through it and it's pretty messy because it's not just you know a lot of the boxes some of the boxes are literally all trash just paperwork and stuff lots of books but we are finding good stuff just because there's so many boxes see like all this trash we've dumpsters back there i mean we filled up that dumpster a few times with stuff out of this so not a perfect unit by any means but you know it's hard to get away from the trash but for the price i paid and the amount of stuff we found um you know and the the amount of you know unique cool stuff vintage stuff gold and silver um pretty good not bad at all but we got to keep working on this thing get all these boxes and there's actually <laughs> some boxes over here still been working on this thing was piled i mean it was, it was piled up as high as that where you see the top of that metal part right there it was all the way up to there all the way out to way out here where i'm standing and the same thing here we had this thing piled up past that where you see that conduit running back there it was higher than that and it was all the way out to right here two massive mountains of boxes that we've been going through and like i said lots of trash but lots of good stuff too and that's typical for, with storage units i mean you get some good ones sometimes where you're just you know every box just about is all good stuff but you know that's not always the case like one of them we got which the video will be coming soon that we kind of did we got it in the middle of this one that one that had the video games and the dvds that i showed out there that one was nice and easy it took us about two or three hours to go through all the boxes and put it all out in the auction and we were done because it was you know just nice and easy it wasn't necessarily super organized but there just wasn't a lot of trash 
mixed into the um mixed in with the unit but let's keep digging here see what we find all right this box here has some cool little wooden stuff in it look at this right here i'm a little teapot strong and stout i hold soap powder pour it out okay i wonder if that's the top for that oh there we go yep that's a good little auction item um and look at this right here this is kind of cool we found a big stand to put a cookbook on and then this is like a little recipe card holder on a wooden stand so that's nice there little wooden box you know with the eagle on it to put stuff in a lot of times i think you would actually put people would put little recipe cards in there also let's see what else we have we have a wooden flower container it's heavy I wonder if the other ones yep this is cool it's like a whole canister set i believe so we got flour sugar uh oh there's stuff in the the very last one let's see what we got flour sugar coffee oh, we got one more here there might be some jewelry in here if i can get it out here <laughs> and the very last one down here here's a ring let's see um i don't think it's anything it's not real I any mean, it's i mean it's something it's a ring but it's not real i don't think that is either so stuff in there but not not any real jewelry no actually you know gold or silver and then tea so it's a four piece little wooden set there i'll get that in order here in a second here's one more little wooden box it's a little recipe holder and it does have some recipes down in here like um two gram two gram cracker crust there it is actually says recipes on that side what else do we have while we're in here we have a toaster oh but look at the toaster though it's a uh, we got a we do have a greyhound this is plastic it's still collectible a little greyhound bank but look at this toaster this is kind of cool it's got the the graphics on the front this would be perfect for a um like a prop in a movie in the kitchen and down here what do we have what do we have a little wooden tray so lots of wood stuff here and then we got a, a knife sharpener there but just an example of all the interesting unique stuff that has come out of this unit like i said lots of vintage and stuff some of it's not really that old. there's a lot of stuff from the 90s which has been cool which isn't super old but man that's it's getting there 90s doesn't seem old when you first say it but it's getting there where it's you know it's 30 years ago now all right i don't know if i already showed this or not but man this is some nice wooden serving ware solid black walnut custom craft with a k made in the usa and this is the little it's like a little chip and dip serving thing here i don't know if these are custom craft also if they go with it officially but these are nice they're nice and thick solid wooden bowls here they're not marked on the bottom so they might be a different um different brand or maker the color looks a little bit off from that other one we got a bunch of other something in here let's see What do we have? A glass, a mug. Wow. It's amazing, isn't it? Made in England. This is gonna be one of those boxes with some old paperwork and stuff. And look at this right here. The old breed, a history of the first marine division in World War II. And look at that. Like I thought it's got some really cool pictures in it. That's a cool looking book right there. Let's see what else we might find. Try to try not to show. I mean, any of the pictures in that picture there was really old, so it doesn't matter. But most of these old black and white tell, you know, if I show them, it's not a big deal. Versus, you know, I try not to show more modern, up to date pictures. But I mean, these are so old. I mean, honestly, very little chance that anybody in, in these are alive. Except for some of these little kids could be obviously very old at this point but it's not going to be like any kind of 
showing any kids or anything that are currently out there. This is like a scrapbook page or something right here. Old Christmas cards. Here's a picture. A couple pictures here. What's this paper that's attached to them? Da, da, da. Hmm. 39 year old Griffin woman identified by investigating police. Such and such name is being held in city jail pending an investigation of the butcher knife slaying Sunday of her husband, <laughs> Carl. Carlton Thomas Bates, man. Hudgens said Bates was killed during a scuffle with his wife. He said Bates was stabbed in the heart with a 14 inch butcher knife. No charges have been filed against Ms. Bates for the killing, which occurred shortly after 5 p.m. Sunday at the Bates home in Griffin. Hmm. Interesting. Very interesting. So I don't know if this is Mrs. Bates right here. <laughs> that, that was all kind of together there. Look at these old newspapers. This is cool right here. Look. Chevy Impala, 1965. Chevelle Malibu. Chevy Nova. Corvair. That's cool. I love looking at old ads and stuff like that. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. We got more... Yeah, 1960s newspapers. This is a, a lot of fun just to sit down and take some time to kind of look through and look at a lot of these, like I said, a lot of these old ads and everything. The Gold Star Family Album and some of these old magazines and stuff like that. Let's see. Commercial Bank and Trust. That's kind of cool right there. It's a little like a count log. We got old life insurance and casualty life insurance company. That's kind of cool right there. Receipt book. Avon full stop cream polish. So some old Avon nail polish. Griffin's most powerful voice, 1000 watt, 1320 on your dial. What is this? We got a mirror on a chain. Stops the glare, light to wear. Cotton balls. Here's an old bonnet. Lots of old cards. What is this right here? The Loyal Order of Moose. Old Moose Lodge thing there. That's an old picture there. An old postcard from Daytona Beach, Florida, the Chateau de Valencia Motel. All right. So, some interesting papers. Now, let me move this box just and see what else is below it. This was like a box in this box right here. But look, if we look below it, look at these. Uh-oh, we need to look and see what we got here. This is cool. Look at this shoe box. D-E-B shoes, or maybe Deb shoes. I think it's just going to be like either some pictures or paperwork, but... Let's take a look and see. Mother's... Mother's Gooses. So this is like... I guess like a little book that a kid made. Like in school, a little school project, I'm assuming. And then it's cards and like I said, it's interesting if you just take your time and go and look through some of this stuff. Get that out of the way. Look at this right here, this is cool. It's an old Southern Bell telephone book. Telephone directory for Griffin, Georgia. 
but just look at the graphics and stuff on this here's another one right here 1959 power I don't know what this is this little book all right let's keep on look we got some more black and whites down in here this soldier in a uniform there black and white black and white set those aside maybe some old letters and stuff in here to read state bank of georgia lots of vintage cards these are cool we got some ticket stubs here NBC presents Jan Murray starring in the treasure hunt. Oh, this is like a um, from the movie theater. 1958. The Jack Parr Show. And then what is this for? It's a discount ticket is good for 50 cent each for a dollar ninety nine steak dinner. Man. Got some little books here. See what's on the very bottom. What is this right here? Another one of these little power. It's some kind of like little. Oh, it's like a little different thing for each day, like a Bible verse and some other stuff. Okay, so let's look at that shoe box. Is pretty cool. Let's look at this other box. It's like a shoe box also. Color mate. All right, we got a little felt like patch or something here the trends not sure what that's for we got a ribbon here da, da, ste buyer don't know what that means either but cards cards Get some of this paperwork <laughs> what is this you know what this is let me know is it some kind of pipe missing a piece or what is it i don't know i'm not sure I'm sure somebody watching the video here will be able to tell me what that is oh this is, looks like a um, spelling test they got a 100 if we keep going down lower it's just a lot of paperwork but every now and then you see something real interesting in here Some old pictures oh, we got some matchbooks here look at this we got the hotel edison 46th street just west of broadway circle and we got some wooden wooden nickels in here wooden nickels what else we got thought that was a necklace but it's just like a piece of little gold rope Here's another postcard. What is this? St. Petersburg, Florida. The world's most unusual drugstore, Web City. Huh. That'd be a big drugstore. Look at this right here. I don't know. It's not a card, but it's like a little decoration. That's cool. Alright, so yeah. Lots of little paperwork and everything in here. All right, so a few, um, nothing real crazy in there, but some interesting pictures and just mostly just interesting stuff to look at. Oh, there's more of these things. 